NEET 2026 is not far as you think it is. Just imagine last year when you prepared or started looking for similar videos for NEET 2025. Now we are here already in the May month and looking forward for the 3rd of May, the first Sunday of 2026 May month. That's when the NEET exam will be. Now, whatever happened this year, whether you are a fresher or a dropper, we need to look what is ahead and what is the way forward. Because as the wise men say, a person who keeps crying because of the mistakes, that person will never progress. But a person who wipes his tears and then looks for, you know, correcting those mistakes will definitely succeed in life. So if you are here to wipe your tears and then progressing ahead, this is exactly the right video for all of you, my dear students. And I'm going to give you a complete roadmap and a strategy with most important things that you should keep in mind for 2026. And please keep in mind, this is based on the current trends and what we expect. And like I expected in NEED 2025, the paper will be tough. And I had been repeatedly telling you all of this. So please listen to my advice for 2026. One of the most important questions is, will NEED 2026 be tough? I'll answer everything. Stay tuned till the end. And yeah, I think you might have forgotten to smash that like button down there. So please smash that like button so that you get all the important updates. And yeah, subscribe to the channel as well. Done that. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. But first, let's go look at some statistics. The NEED 2025 paper. Well, if you look at the overall questions, if you look at the overall questions, not just physics. Well, almost one third of the questions, close to 30% was hard. And more than one third, almost like 39, 38% was moderate. And barely 33% was easy. Now, these easy questions comprises of some chemistry questions, biology questions, and maybe very, very few physics questions. But the hard part mainly comprised of physics and somewhat biology and somewhat chemistry as well. Now, the overall perception of the students was not like this. If you ask any student, then they will not say 28% was hard. They will say 50 or 70% was hard. The reason for that is you go with the mindset in the examination thinking the paper will be moderate. But when it is harder than usual, what happens? You get stuck in the questions and you leave out the easy ones or the moderate ones. And you start getting scared or nervous because of which the questions which were even moderate, which you could have done, you end up getting tensed and not solving or making mistakes even in that. That is why the perception will be very different than the actual one when you set your expectations low or when you feel that the paper will be like this, but it ends up harder or little bit weirder than what you had planned for. That's why the year of 2026 will be the year of the unexpected. You cannot follow priority orders, chapter weightages, same old textbook methods. You have to think a little bit different. That's why you have to watch this strategy video. If you look at physics paper, obviously a lot of hard questions and not so many easy questions. Same thing with chemistry also, a lot of hard questions and even the moderate ones. Easy questions, easy kills were very less. Cutoffs are going to go low. If you look at, you know, botany and zoology, well, the weightage was not 50-50%. Yeah, please keep in mind, botany had a higher weightage than zoology this year. That might happen next year. Maybe zoology has more weightage than botany. And the questions were not arranged in order. It was a mix. So, gone are those days where botany or zoology sections were separate. But this time, it was completely mixed. I think that was like a hidden thing which many people did not realize. And uh, usually, biology had many easy questions. That's what was found. Yeah, there were many statement-based questions. But they were definitely doable there was a significant chunk of hard questions from botany, which students generally feel is the harder part in the entire subject of biology. If you look at the weightage of 11th versus 12th, you can see class 12th had slightly higher weightage, but you cannot say, oh, I will give more importance to class 12th because of that, because it's a very marginal, uh, you know, percentage difference. But physics, chemistry, botany, zoology more or less had similar weightages of 11th and 12th, exception being botany, which had a slightly higher chunk of 12th standard syllabus as compared to 11th standard syllabus. 
okay and maybe little bit in chemistry also slightly more 12th standard weight is than 11th standard but will that same thing repeat in next year nobody can say for sure okay now this is exactly what you should take away before we go to the strategy and the proper roadmap see understand that nobody can tell you for sure whether 2026 will be tough or easy competitive or not but there are some learnings that is if a paper is tough it is usually the physics paper which is the toughest if you check the old ams papers you will see physics questions are really good level better than j mains also so next important thing is biology may have many statement based match the following they can ask from intro paragraph extra uh, outro paragraph some scientist names here and there twisted so basically ncrt has to be studied in and out like line by line not just the main paragraphs but also everything the summary the exercises the in-text the intro part everything has to be studied including the diagrams charts and you have to also go beyond ncrt if you just stick to ncrt that is no longer enough to get into ams or gmc keep that in mind and yes the registrations may decrease because many students might feel like giving up that was the general mood of the nation sir i don't feel like i should do this it's very tough so competitions like maybe from 25 lakh it might go down few lakhs here and there or it might even go up who knows but, uh, but important thing is whether that number goes up or down the serious aspirants is almost the same that is one lakh seats roughly are there in the government private colleges so around similar number of seats will still be there so and similar number of competition serious students who join a coaching who enroll in a batch who are very regular sincere so that does not change much unless something you know drastically inspires them and i hope these kind of videos inspires everyone okay so i really hope guys you become very serious about studies after this now the most important question my dear students how exactly should i study i'm going to give you a proper flow observe this first of all notes lectures and theoretical approach that's what everybody tells you right but let me tell you practical approach pyqs and strategic revision is more important than just note lectures and theoretical approach if you just stick to this you will not crack neat you have to go to many pyqs not just last four years you have to go to a more practical approach which works in the exam theoretical approach means you know you understood sir i understood the concept but when it comes to solving question maybe i can do it at home but not in the exam why was i not able to think about the formula is there a short way is there something which i had to take care of in such type of model questions so this is practical approach and you need to revise strategically you cannot again watch those 12 hour marathons when the exam is five uh, five days away or one month away two months away and you are sitting and watching big big marathons but that is not effective you have to think strategically how to revise and that should help you in solving questions that's very important lot of you made those mistakes and if you have made such mistakes let me know quickly in the comments now this is a proper roadmap guys roughly around 350 days are there plus minus here and there depending on when you are watching the video so if you are watching this video in may hopefully which you are and let me know guys if you are watching this in may i'll be very happy and smash that like button for yourself because you have started your preparation then early or at the right time i would say there are roughly six months for your complete syllabus syllabus coverage the proper syllabus which you have to cover proper lectures which you have to watch proper you know uh, you will be making notes you will be doing some uh, kind of you know uh, solving problems practice solved examples giving those class tests all those things happen between the month of may and november of this particular year roughly keep three months for 11 roughly keep three months for 12 so it averages out close to slightly less than three days per chapter okay not more than three slightly less it comes like 2.8 2.5 to like that kind of days per chapter so some chapters like maybe rotation might take six days but some chapter like maybe electromagnetic waves can take one and a half day so it depends from chapter to chapter on an average three days per chapter keep this in mind okay this number is clear six months three months for 11 three months for 12 three days per chapter on an average till november you complete the syllabus okay now you start with the first set of revision where you will realize so many new things and whatever you know backlogs were there or some things which you misunderstood you will start covering them up you will be practicing a lot of questions which you had left otherwise from your modules dpps assignment class test all those things you start practicing over here as you begin your first revision and now 
the month of january arrives so from november to january roughly two months you do your first biggest revision this is going to be long and this is going to be comprehensive very detailed revision then comes your board exams if you are fresher but if you are a dropper or partial drop then maybe you can save on that time and you will be directly going to part tests or you know uh, filling the gaps like in the part test what happens example your first part test is there complete 11th standard or maybe just mechanics and then maybe uh, you know uh, whatever maybe organic chemistry then you realize oh i'm not so great at this part of chemistry i need to do aldehydes or maybe i need to do uh, you know uh, newton's laws so you start revising only those specific parts because other parts maybe you might be stronger so you do the second round of revision generally over here in these part tests and you identify your weaknesses and strengths and then comes the month of march where your board exams if at all are over or your second round of revision is over now you go to full india uh, fu sorry full syllabus mock test all india test series aits all india test series where you get national ranking you have the entire syllabus see when things are given in parts maybe you are able to do it but when all the things come together that's the full syllabus mock test and you would have realized if especially you are a fresher or not such a serious aspirant this year if you have not given too many all india test series of difficult level moderate level very easy level or variations theme based questions then you would have found the actual need paper very tough this is the reason this is the final lab very important from march to may may month hardly barely two three days you will get but mainly it is march and april only so this one and a half month you have to extensively tackle the entire paper together devise timing strategies devise the priority of the subjects or the difficulty of the questions how do you do the rough work how do you do the bubbling all these things happen in these two months okay so this is what your general roadmap will look like how will the cycle of completion of any chapter during these six months which is your next six crucial months going to look like and i hope you do not waste even one single minute of this you start with a chapter let's say example you pick up anything human health and diseases example okay you first refer the ncrt wow. okay just go through it read through it even before attending the class attend the class you will understand it even better many students don't read ncrt before attending class directly attend then the understanding level will differ so better to read it and come any chapter physics chemistry biology then after that again read ncrt go through your coaching module notes some nice notes will be there points will be there your teacher would have given handwritten notes or printed notes whatever go through that then solve the dpps which are given in the chapter after every lecture or every chapter there might be uh, dpps yeah then you can also go to the modules pyqs do not do much very very few i should have put a star mark over here you will see why because again pyqs are coming over here solve very very easy laddu 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 pyqs okay so why because if you solve very difficult pyqs and you are not able to do it your confidence will be gone you will put the chapter aside now if you are not able to solve a question let's say even the easy conceptual solved examples dpps also again go back to that specific part of the lecture again revise through the notes ask a friend ask a doubt okay your class teachers are there or even in our dna batch even in a replay you can ask a doubt that's the best part this is the first time that has happened ever in history that in a replay of a class you can ask doubts so that is the big big uh, you know change in the dna batch this year for 2026 anyways so you go back again refer everything and come back uh, to the particular problem and then solve it maybe you will be able to do it okay now you go for more practice go to some higher level questions maybe from level 1 to level 2 tatva module if you remember has you know level 1 level 2 level 3 the basic questions conceptual questions everything are there so if you scale up level slowly then it feels very natural very very organic or else suddenly you know the level is going up level is going down you will not understand whether you have understood the concept properly or not so scale up practice more questions slightly higher order then go to pyqs that's very important the hard ones moderate ones especially because there is no adventure in solving the pyqs first there is no point okay you should have a holistic approach of the chapter need not solve all the pyqs at least 50 percent 40 percent 60 percent pyqs to solve then make the notes don't start making the notes many students make the notes here wrong always make the notes in the end because now you have a good good you know flow of the chapter you know what is where which formula is uh, you know used when 
all these things you understand which is important which is not important especially after the hard pyqs and then give a class test or a mock test for that specific chapter don't test yourself uh, before any of these things because if you give the mock test let's say directly after the lecture you have missed so many steps you will get low marks you will lose confidence even if you just refer some basic questions and go to the mock test gone you have not practiced advanced questions or practice pyqs again you will get low score that will demotivate you so always give the class test after doing this or rather plan your activities in such a manner if you talk about physics these are the most important chapters which you have to do you cannot leave whether you take 2024 2025 2023 2016 2018 paper always these questions are highly highly important from these units ncrt for physics very important tatva or your coaching model which has the graded exercises which has concepts which has solutions answer key without any errors that's very important pyq's last five years is basic and better to have last 37 years 37 years of pyq book is there uh, in the vedantu show please check it out down uh, i mean uh, go and you know down into the description box and make sure you purchase that book if you have it already very good best to practice last 37 years bare minimum five years for extra practice, you can use SL Arora or DC Pandey and HC Varma only objective one, objective two and solved, uh, what do you say, the short answer questions, not the exercise questions or those big, big questions, only the objective questions you can solve. SL Arora is good and even DC Pandey objective book is also very good. This is needed as an extra practice in case your coaching module is not great or you just want additional stuff to pro uh, practice. In terms of chemistry, these are the chapters which you must do properly no circumstance you should leave even one chapter or one topic out of any of these things okay now in terms of uh, the resources again uh, ncrt textbook obviously the best for all the theory and basic practice the back exercise in text questions tatva modules for or your coaching modules so that you can practice more past previous year questions 37 years is the best but bare minimum five years and for extra practice, R.K. Gupta, V.K. Jaiswal, M.S. Chowan, right? These are some good books which you can use. O.P. Tandon is also there. Yep, many people use O.P. Tandon or even M.S. Chowan, V.K. Jaiswal, R.K. Gupta. These are some additional reference books depending on your need. You might not need all of them, but whichever you need. For biology, these are the chapters which you obviously cannot give it a miss. Please do all these things. And for NCRT, obviously, you need to study it in, out and beyond and tatva module coaching module and the previous year papers is good enough you generally won't need any extra material for practice because coaching modules are usually good for biology when they are need specific books okay and the previous year question papers are also good enough so if you want you know additional practice in our dna batch we have those additional books which are provided absolutely free of cost you can check it out okay great now if you are Till here, remember that we always have the option for your rigorous coaching, complete syllabus coverage till November with first revision and second revision and the final lab revision like we did for the last year batch, but in a much, much, much more, I would say, revengeful format because NTA has taken revenge. So it's time for taking revenge. And if you want to ensure that you too, you know, crack need 2026 with the help, the support of the best most experienced faculties who have prepared fresh new content for 2026 who have created new tests and with a very different approach because now we are not going to uh, see oh we have to create only easy papers or moderate papers the toughest papers to the easiest questions to theme based questions everything done in one single batch with complete syllabus because a lot of batches online you know sometimes they just don't do the syllabus so this is the batch you should be looking forward to the dna 2026 batch okay so it's time for revenge my dear students the link for the dna batch is down there in the description box please check it out and enroll as soon as possible so you get the best of the best team and the best of the best price because you have watched the video using that particular link you'll get the best price benefit okay so thank you so much i hope this roadmap will prove very useful for all of you have a great time god bless you all Take care.